Hello everybody, it is Tuesday, May 25th, and here are your national days. It's tap dance day, so this means you gotta get out there, get your tap shoes on, and start rat tat tat uh, But, you know, regardless of whether you are somebody who uh, can tap dance, has always wanted to start tap dancing, or you uh, like to watch a good uh, tap dance routine, uh, you know, you get you can get your, uh, your fill however you want. Uh, lots of places out there can help you out with learning, or if you uh, are a tap dancer and you want to get involved, uh, there's definitely lots of places you can go do that. Or if you just want to go take it in, check out some of your uh, local theaters and see who's got uh, you know, a show that's about to, to come into town, or if you're going to uh, be able to watch one of your favorite movies uh, or musicals, perhaps, that uh, has a great tap dance routine and uh, see what you can find, all right? Definitely out there. Uh, and uh, we got this internet, so you can definitely find some uh, good and bad things uh, with tap dances, so go to it. It's also Towel Day, and, and obviously we're just celebrating the fact that we've got that extremely useful thing. Uh, right now, what I can really wish for is um, it's time to get the beach towels out. Uh, so let's get to that uh, nice warm weather and uh, warm up that uh, the ocean here because uh, it's a little cold right now. All right, so uh, there you go, towel day. And last but not least, it is Brown Baggett Day. Now this is uh, saying that uh, they're looking for you to take your lunch to work um, or school or wherever, uh, but you're packing it into your, uh, your brown bag. Uh, and uh, always a, a fun thing. That's uh, you know a lot of times as a kid you have your your lunchbox, uh, but uh, you know some some people also just have the brown bag, and uh, just brings back some some good old nostalgia thinking about that. Uh, so uh, that's it. That, the quick day today as far as our national days go, uh, just three. And uh, let's take a look and see what our fact of the day is. Not many humans have ever been exposed to a vacuum and lived, all right? Uh, but a worker at the Johnson uh, Space Center in Houston did just that in 1965 when his spacesuit was accidentally depressurized in a vacuum chamber. The last thing he remembered before passing out was feeling of uh, moisture on his tongue. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. I, I, I botched up reading that and then my brain processed what was going on through there. So let me, let me go back to the beginning of that sentence. This is crazy. The last thing he remembered before passing out was a feeling the moisture on his tongue started to boil. Wow, that's crazy. I can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. That, that's just crazy stuff. So, um, hey, I, I, I don't think anybody needs to experience a uh, vacuum uh, in order to know that it ain't gonna do good things to you. You can just see what happens to, to certain objects when they get into a vacuum. So um, it's not gonna, not gonna end well, <laughs> but uh, especially for a, a human being, but um, glad this guy survived it. Uh, that's some crazy things going on there. Uh, and um, hopefully we never all have to experience that at all. All right, so uh, get out there, get your tap dance going. Uh, I'm gonna say grab the towel. Let's let's hit the hit the beach, the pool, the whatever, because um, we deserve it at this point. All right. So uh, have yourself a great day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.